Hi, for today's turn on, this from the British Air Force, obviously, Loran readout unit, type 1833, serial number 091, by, of course, the Deca Navigator Company in London. A broad arrow and uh, NATO stock number, so it is obviously a military unit. Condition. Half good, half bad. There is a broken corner here. And we might be missing some caps on the buttons. And that's so uh, lamp holder here is missing. But it is not the main area of interest. Can you figure out what is interesting in here? On the back, just uh, two big, really big connectors. Uh, three small indicators here from Dialco Company. I actually have uh, some of them in stock. It is just a little bulb in an uh, aluminium uh, tube with a uh, little diffuser lens. We have, so there are alarm lights. We have on-off switch with dim uh, setting for the displays here probably. And your, I guess it is your regular Laurent control things. Uh, narrow, wide, ZX station, and stuff like this, but I do not know how this all works. So we will have a quick look inside first, but uh, mostly wires, in fact, inside. No, uh, not a great deal of electronics. So here you have the buttons. A big stack of contacts. Typically British wires. Pink wires with pink heat shrink. Very heavy construction, you can see with this heavy aluminium bracket. More wires here. Little PCB here with uh, not really a PCB terminal board with uh, power resistors, mystery blue part. There is, I believe, yes, another board here with few more resistors and one big green cap here at the back. Plastic my M PET PET, and I cannot read the value. But now we are going to the interesting stuff. So here we have the uh, instructions about how to use to connect these displays. So it seems to be, uh, I guess, uh, 60s vintage, this thing. So in the 60s we have no pin lights, we have no LEDs. We have only over complicated uh, incandescent displays. So can you guess what we have here? You have to push on them to be able to pull, to remove them. If they cooperate, not always. Here for instance, today they do not want to cooperate. Do not want to damage anything. Here we are. So what we do we have here, guys? We have the IEE, -E, oops, focus, one plane readout, 340 series, from the famous AEE -E company, that is still uh, existing on making uh, military-grade displays. I will link their website in the video description. So obviously we have a number of little bulbs here shining to this area here. So we take the middle one because this one has a little bit uh, less beautiful sticker so I will open this one. So it is a one plane display. What is the interesting thing about a one plane display? It is that uh, as opposed to the Nixie displays, where all the digits are in a 
aligned or not at the same depth. Here, the information will all, always be at the same level. So to demonstrate this, I need first to excuse me uh, remove all the little bugs that I will place in the cap plugs instrument cap aircraft instrument cap. Why not? It will allow us to see exactly what is going on in here. If I can remove the little bulbs, so some of them have a golden base, by the way. It is not every day you see golden base on uh, incandescent lights. Because they are probably, uh, they have been replaced a few times and they are not exactly all the same. So let me pull all of them out. Then we will discover together what is going on with this display. And it is actually a projection display. So uh, the light here will shine through a lens and through a filter and display a pattern on the front. To demonstrate this, I will use my uh, vintage almost LED tester with a white LED. I will cut my light here, and there we go. Number one, very nice sharp display as you can see. Number four, seven, zero. In the middle row, we have eight, five, two. Is it all? Yes. Then three, six, nine, and this one is blank. Nothing in this one. So of course, if I shine the light at uh, several of them, we might have uh, several numbers displaying at the same time. So a really nice uh, sharp display, as you can see. So there is a whole uh, thing about these displays, some people are very uh, fanatic of these displays. I will link in the video description a website I found with extensive information about these displays and the different models you have available. And they can be actually quite expensive on eBay. So, uh, we will now open this one to figure out what, how it is working. After my white balance does uh, come back, okay. So there is two little screws here. We need to cut a little bit of the sticker, sadly, but to access them. We hope it will be possible to put it back together, but according to the photos I saw on the website, it is possible to take them apart and reassemble them without too many troubles. So, second one. Oops, broken nail here. Okay, so we have two plastic uh, pieces, and here is what we have. I will remove the parts for you one at a time. So we have lamp holder, uh, some kind of a Fresnel uh, lens that will direct the light towards the correct area. One more here. One more here, we have more of them, and somewhere, yes, the uh, actual patterns are in this one here. As you can see, it is actually a two parts thing, and we have a little numbers, and again, uh, 
non sense to direct the light correctly. And then just an empty area, and here the um, and diffuser. So it is all quite uh, interesting. Really, I will need to take care of uh, the correct uh, order of uh, reassembly for these things. But maybe actually you cannot uh, put them backwards, yes, because there is this groove here, and you can see all the parts have a cut out here to allow uh, reinstalling uh, correctly, at least. So it was a nice thing and a nice surprise, and I have uh, actually five of these displays here are the contacts golden and spring loaded contacts to the bulbs in a metal holder. So these are modular units and attached here with this plate you can see with uh, cutouts on the slots. Okay, so uh, nice uh, find into these displays. Uh, IEE one plane readout. They are still available on eBay. So search for DECA indicator panel and they are quite uh, affordable actually. So if you want to grab some of these displays, it is the way to go. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.